She, it says here she was a nerd in high school. I feel like that's not true. OK, the three things I want you to take away from this. One, you will not have sex with a woman who looks like that ever in your life. Well, what if I get like a really good job and put on some upper body mass? Two, women don't screw crazy like they do in those pictures. Well, they do. They don't. And three, I hate stealing. That's it? No, if you're going to roam around outside at night, stop sleeping in nut huggers. No one wants to see that. The show takes place in, uh, like, 1990, 1991. I play a doctor who, uh, whose wife is now going to law school, so it's my turn to take over the parenting skill. My father, he's really, uh, I guess he's kind of a powerhouse. He's always got something to say. It's our spin on a family show. The twist on it is a very domineering, big figure of a father who has never really been the, the principal guy in charge of parenting until this very day. My father's named Jack, and uh, he's based off my own father, of which I have exploited for two uh, best-selling books. You're 16. Whoever this girl is, she's not the one. I mean, how? when you get married, there's a 50% chance you're going to get divorced, so even the one might not be the one. It's a coin flip. So don't sweat it. You're welcome. He makes it easy, because the father's intimidating, and uh, the, Frankie's a little bit afraid of him, and I'm a little afraid of Chris Maloney. It's a scary dude who's really funny. I think uh, Alex and I have a great yin and yang uh, thing going on. She's really the rock of the family. What do you do when everything in your body is telling you to meet girls and get out there, but you're terrified inside? Hey, Frankie. Heather Blumeyer. Not sure why I said your last name. Rachel is being played by uh, Claudia Lee. Rachel is a very smart A-plus student. She's kind of figuring out her freedom and seeing what limits she can push a little further and what she can do. Hey, Rach, we're... Dad! <sighs> We've had these real moments. We've found these places where we are really laughing at each other. It doesn't feel like TV. It just feels natural. My dad always said, you know, uh, a parent's only as good as their dumbest kid. If one of them wins the Nobel Prize, but the other one is robbed by a hooker, then you failed as a parent. And I think that that's Jack's, Jack's motto as well. I'll be ready to leave by the time it takes me to finish this coffee and take a dump.